A chilling Pearl City robbery was caught on camera. It happened at Domino's Pizza on Kuala Street last night, just before 10 o'clock. Surveillance video shows an armed man forcing two workers into a freezer before stealing cash from the register. He got away moments before police arrived. We learned brazen robberies are happening more frequently. Bridget Namata is digging deeper into the problem. Bridget? Joe, I checked HPD's crime map, noticed over 300 reported robberies on Oahu in the last six months. But officials tell me robberies are spiking statewide. As for Domino's, the owner tells me he's grateful no one was hurt, but he hopes by sharing surveillance video of the robber, someone will come forward to help them catch the criminal. Approximately 9.48 p.m. Wednesday night. The bold robbery happened just before two workers at Domino's closed up shop. You can see a man in a black hoodie jacket with a bandana covering his face point what appears to be a handgun at the manager. He grabs her, places the gun to the back of her head, and orders her to get into the store's walk-in cooler. The other worker was also shoved in. The robber then worked quickly, stealing cash from the register and attempting to steal money from the store's safe. The employees managed to free themselves from the cooler and called 911. Police responded within minutes, but by that time, the robber was gone. Domino's owner tells me in a statement the robbery was a traumatic experience for the team members working hard to afford Hawaii, and this guy terrorized them over very little money. Tina Yamaki of Retail Merchants of Hawaii says the video is shocking, and so is the rise in brazen robberies statewide. Since last year, the state raised the felony charge from 300 to 750. So a lot of our stores now are seeing an increase in crime. They're no longer stealing just up until $300. They're doing double that. I don't think a lot of people realize that. They just think it's a store. They must have a lot of cash. But nowadays, a lot of people, they either use their debit card or credit card, and especially chip cards and things like that. So there's not a lot of cash in the drawers. If you have any information on the robbery, please call police. Bridget Namata, KHO12 News.